The Chagask Forestry Development Department focuses on providing support to new and existing forest owners in Ireland. Chagask is the state agency which provides advisory, training and education supports to the agri-food sector. My name is Nulini Lahartha and I'm head of the Forestry Development Department. I lead a team of forestry advisors, specialists and researchers. We work together as a team supporting the evolving needs of our forest owners here in Ireland. Our team of researchers carry out their work at our Chagask Research Centres at Ashtown, Athenry and Carlo. In addition, we also have research trials in forests throughout the country. We benefit from having many collaborations both nationally and internationally. Our advisors are located around the country and provide support regionally. Our forests here in Ireland and especially our private forests are quite young with nearly three quarters of them being less than 30 years of age. We have about 23,000 forest owners and we are actively trying to encourage more afforestation with the target of increasing our forest area from 11% to 18%. Therefore, we are working typically with first-generation forest owners and much of our focus is on increasing their capacity while developing supports to ensure they can achieve their various objectives for their forests. You will now meet four of our forestry researchers who will outline to you the applied research programmes we are currently involved in. We will show you how we translate this research into practice through our advisory colleagues. One of our advisory colleagues will then show you some of the innovative ways we have of disseminating this research to Irish forest owners. Hello, my name is Ian Short. I'm the Board of Silviculture Researcher here in the Chagas Forestry Development Department. I have a PhD in Tempered Agroforestry and my research interests include agroforestry, broadleaf silviculture and alternative silviculture systems. Coniferous species were the basis of state afforestation. Private afforestation has increased the use of broadleaf species, resulting in approximately 25% of the annual afforestation area now being with broadleaf species. It is my role to provide applied research and direction to the Chagas Forest Advisory Services and to the wider industry and stakeholders to inform best practice in the management of such stands. This has resulted in projects related to establishment of broadleaves and mixtures, their early management and the thinning of stands. In recent years, due to the impact of management issues and biotic and abiotic factors such as ash dieback and grey squirrel, alternative and remedial silviculture has also been a focus with an objective to provide direction regarding the management of poorly performing or damaged broadleaf stands to increase their potential to produce a quality crop. Alternative silviculture systems such as continuous cover forestry and agroforestry are also becoming more prominent in my research as international and national focus strengthens towards resilient and diverse systems of tree production. For example, I participate in two EU funded projects, Resonate and Agromix, related to continuous cover forestry and agroforestry respectively and I hope to increase my involvement in these types of projects in the future. Being a department that integrates research, advisory and education, part of my role also involves, in partnership with the advisors, the dissemination of the research via demonstration and field days and other approaches. This direct connection with the end users of the research also benefits the research as it informs future project design and helps ensure the applicability of the work. The Forestry Development Department has world scholars working on projects related to, for example, continuous cover forestry, wind blow, agroforestry, genomic selection of Sitka spruce and uses of alder thinnings. Research projects are frequently done in collaboration with academic partners and provide opportunities for postgraduate studies. Whilst they study for their Masters or PhD, students are often provided with a stipend via the Chagas World Scholarship Scheme. This investment in postgraduate students supports the continued innovation and development of the applied research carried out by me and my colleagues of the Chagas Forestry Development Department. This underpins effective knowledge transfer to the benefit of forest owners and the wider forest industry across Ireland. Hello, my name is Niall Farrelly. I'm a research officer working with Chagas Forestry Development Department. My research programme covers many areas of forestry, including forestry tree improvement, forest management and climate change adaptation. Today I want to tell you about one of my research areas, which is the management of highly productive Sitka spruce plantations in Ireland. To evaluate the impact of different management options on the production of commercial saw log, 
I want to show you a tinning experiment. The first management option is no tin. Here no management occurs. The natural mortality of smaller trees takes place and there is no opportunity to improve timber quality above its current state. Tree size is on average smaller and the quality of trees is mixed. The second management option is light thinning. Allows some opportunity to improve the timber quality and focus growth on the remaining trees which are of superior quality. Overall smaller trees are removed on average and the mean tree volume is increased in the process. The third management option is intermediate thinning. An intermediate thinning offers the potential to improve quality over the light thinning. But care needs to be taken as not to remove too much volume as this will affect the overall site production. Thinning focuses on the removal of trees of lower value and allows increased growing space to allow straighter trees to develop more quickly. The fourth management option is heavy thinning. Heavy thinning removes all of the lower canopy classes and focuses production on a more limited number of co-dominant and dominant trees. The objective is to grow trees into a merchantable log size in a shorter time frame. We can see here that even after 27 years, some larger logs are now 0.5 to 0.7 cubic meters in volume. Much of the impact of the research has succeeded in promoting an intensifying tinning practice to the private sector in Ireland through published articles and field events. Hello everybody, my name is Dheeraj Rathar and I am a tree improvement researcher. I work for the Forestry Development Department of Chagask in Ireland. I am a molecular biologist with a broad interest in conventional and molecular breeding, genetic improvement and biostimulants. I lead the Broadleaf Improvement Program in Chagask in breeding trees genotypes that are productive and resilient to diseases and pests and adapted for a changing climate. A major pathogenic threat to ash, one of our most important native tree species, is the ash dieback disease, caused by an invasive fungal pathogen, Hemnocyphus fraxinius. Only 1 to 2 percent of the ash population is tolerant to the disease and may survive the outbreak. In Chegesk, I am working to select, screen genetically and phenotypically for disease tolerance to breed S genotypes that are productive as well as future ready for climate change. In addition to ASH, the research in my group also focuses on studying the genetic diversity of other commercially important broadleaf tree species. Chegesk has a collection of tree species such as alder, birch, sycamore and witch alums. And it is important that we understand the diversity that may exist within the germplasm of each species to breed for future needs. This work is part of the Broadgen project which is funded by Chegesk to support a PhD student under the Walsh Scholarships program for four years. The project brings together researchers from Chegesk, Trinity College Dublin and National Botanic Gardens. My research also explores innovative and novel technologies like speed breeding for trees and genetic improvement. I make use of multi-omic approaches like genomics, transcriptomics, proteomics, metabolomics, epigenetic as well as metagenomics to accelerate and assist tree improvement program in Chagask. Our broadleaf tree improvement research in Chagask is an integral part of the forestry development department. We collaborate closely with national and international partners. In response to the climate change and to fulfill increasing demands for wood and its products, we aim to strengthen the forestry sector in Ireland and beyond. I am open to international research collaborations that will help secure funds and conduct cutting-edge research to develop, advance and deliver sustainable and environmentally friendly genetic solutions to existing and upcoming biotic and abiotic threats to our trees. Hello, I'm Oliver Sheridan. I'm a researcher with the Chagas Forestry Development Department working on birch and alder tree improvement. 
Our two native species of birch, silver and downy, were not considered suitable for commercial forestry because of their poor stem quality and poor survival and growth rates. As a result, the Irish Birch Improvement Programme was initiated in 1998. The main objective of the research was to provide birch planting stock for afforestation, adapted to Irish conditions and with good timber quality potential. Running in parallel to the Birch Improvement Programme, an older improvement programme was initiated in 2005, where phenotypically superior trees were identified throughout Ireland. Based on data collected from the birch trials, an indoor downy birch seed orchard was established. In 2013, the seed orchard of birch and alder achieved the improved designation qualified under the EU directive on the marketing of forest reproductive material. Birch field trials were established four years later with qualified plant material raised from our indoor seed orchard. The purpose of the trials will be to test the value of the parent trees and to progress the orchard from qualified to tested category. The impact of our research is that improved downy birch is commercially available now. Birch has also been added to the list of approved species for grant-aided afforestation programmes. Hi, my name is Frances McHugh and I'm one of eight forestry development officers with Chagask providing forestry services across Ireland. We need to plant more trees to meet an increasing demand for timber, to meet our carbon targets and other environmental needs. A range of planting schemes with attractive afforestation grant and premiums are provided by the Irish state and are available to landowners to establish new forests. But forestry is a relatively new enterprise to many farmer owners who have little tradition or experience in managing, utilising and marketing their own crops. Once a well-informed decision is made to plant and a forest is established, ongoing management is critical to success. Chagask advisors provide technical advice on forests of all ages. For example, vegetation control, broadleaf shaping, forest inventory and accessing the timber market. The strength of the Forestry Development Department is that we have advisors and researchers working together. Our forestry researchers disseminate applied research directly to advisors on areas such as species choice, tree breeding and many innovative management techniques. This new knowledge is transferred directly to forest owners and the wider forest sector. Our advice to landowners is independent and objective, focusing on land suitability, how a forest enterprise can improve farm income and how it fits in with the overall objectives of a sustainable farm. Our services to forest owners take many forms. Meeting landowners at their forest site or organising a wide range of forest walks to discuss many aspects of forest management, while facilitating owners to meet together and exchange ideas. Workshops and large forest events are held all over Ireland. For example, our Talking Timber events allow owners to meet with timber buyers. Recently, many of these events have moved online, but still continue to attract a large audience. These virtual events and many supporting videos and articles are promoted through a very active online presence across many social media platforms. We also provide support to many forest owner groups. These groups are another way for owners to come together for peer-to-peer -to -peer learning, many of whom coordinate harvesting and timber sales. Forestry advisors also input into general agricultural and environmental training courses, thereby ensuring that forestry and tree planting is promoted as a positive contributor in sustainable farming. It's an exciting time in Irish forestry, with many challenges and opportunities ahead. Chagas continues to play a significant role in its development and to empower each private forest owner to play their part too. So hopefully this gives you a flavour of what we do. We focus on the needs of our stakeholders, conscious that these are evolving as their forests mature and issues arise in relation to their forests. The challenges posed by climate change, as well as biotic and abiotic risks, continue to evolve and we need to be agile to address these challenges. Being part of a larger organisation strengthens us and gives us additional capacity and the ability to be more efficient. If you want to find out more about the various programmes we're involved in or contact one of our staff, you can check out our website chagask.ie forward slash forestry. Gawam buikas live as ocht fekent.